everyone, this is Kayla from Anima. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started using the Anima plugin for Sketch. Let's start by installing the plugin from the Plugins page on the Anima web app. This will start a download of Anima directly to your device. Be sure you've unzipped your file and double-click the unzipped file to install. Now when we're in Sketch, we can open up our plugins and select Anima Toolkit. Make sure you're logged into your Anima account, and then you're set up to take a look around. Under the Prototype tab in the Anima plugin, you'll see all of the prototype categories you can add using Anima. Flow, Smart Layers, and Interaction or Animation. Under Flow, you can add links and breakpoints to your designs. Here, you can set up different links between artboards to external websites or by adding overlays. With Smart Layers, you can make your prototypes more interactive and impressive by adding entrance animations, different types of media like videos, GIFs, and Lotties, hover effects, live forms, and text inputs. You can also select layers to set with a fixed position or add external code snippets to enhance your project. Finally, we have interactions and animations, which offer you another way to dramatically enhance your sketch prototype. Here, you can create amazing interactions right inside of Sketch, like a toggle switch or a fun animation using a timeline. Interactions allow you to add click, hover, or timer triggers to change the state of your element. Animations will help you add state transitions automatically to your prototype without any triggers. Besides the Prototype tab, the Layout tab helps you build responsive designs inside of Sketch. Anima supports stacks with Flexbox, padding, and you can also use Sketch's native pins. Lastly, in the Export tab, you'll find options to export code which allows you to download a code package directly from Sketch. You can also sync your project or manage your project settings, like inviting guests and teammates, adding a custom domain to your project, and more. Once you're satisfied with your design, you can choose to preview it or sync directly from the plugin. Don't forget that whatever effects you added with the plugin will only display in Anima's preview or synced projects and not on the Sketch platform. Now, let's select the artboards we want and select Preview in Browser from our design. From this preview window, you can check out your design and make sure everything is working properly. Once we're satisfied, click Sync to Project, where you'll be asked to select your team or workspace and your project. Now let's choose Open to see our saved design inside of the Anima web app. From here, we can play our prototype, leave comments, or choose Code where we can view the live code of whatever element we select in our design in HTML, React, or Vue. You can also view the breakpoints you've set up, and if you're using a pro account, click on Export Code to export and hand off all of this code to your developer. And that's how we get started using Anima with Sketch. If you like what you see, give us a like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more. Don't forget to check out our other videos to learn more about how to use each of Anima's prototype features like inserting media and text forms, creating a custom domain, and more. Thanks for watching!